Today I'm going to go over 5 tricks in Houdini that I wish I had known when I first started. Clean UI To anyone out there that prefer their UI to be as clean and minimal as possible, this trick is for you. Come into the viewport and press the hotkey Ctrl, Alt and S. This is going to hide most of the UI elements and overall gives us a much cleaner environment to work in. Quick marks. In Houdini we often find ourselves moving between lots of different networks while we work. And a good way to speed up this network navigation is to use a feature called the quick marks. If we press Ctrl and a number on our keyboard, that stores a quick mark of the current network we're in. And at any time, if we press space and that same number key, Houdini is going to immediately transport us to that same location that we stored. And this is definitely one of the tricks that sped up my workflow the most. Unhiding hidden nodes. Have you ever had one of your favorite nodes just suddenly disappear after updating to a new Houdini version? If we come up to the Windows, Age Script Text Port and type up unhide sub, you get the list of all the nodes that are hidden from the sub context. To unhide a specific node, just type up unhide sub and then the name of the node from the list. Some good nodes to unhide could be the old mountain node or the shot sculpt node, which is a sculpting node that works a lot better than the default sculpt node. Test geometry colors. Have you ever wondered how we can bake the colors from the test geometry materials as a color attribute? If we unlock the asset and dive inside, we can find these base color texture maps inside of the shaders. We can then middle mouse click the texture path and copy this into an attribute from map, and then we can actually take these texture maps and use them as a color attribute on our geometry. Enabling the Vulcan viewport. You can consider this a bonus tip as this is still a feature that is very buggy, but it's kind of fun to mess around with. Houdini ships with an open GL solution for its viewport, but we can actually replace this with something called Vulkan, which is eventually going to be the default viewport when the development is finished. Navigate to your Houdini 20 folder in your documents and find the .env file. In here we want to input the following text. Save and restart Houdini. The Vulcan viewport should now be enabled. Again, use this at your own risk. Things like volumes and objects with low opacity don't display correctly, and some things just don't work at all. But it's still very fun to mess around with, and sometimes it actually looks a lot nicer than the default viewport. Definitely not something I would be using on a regular basis though.